doing well and we're here at Petiti's Oakwood Village store and I'm going to talk to you about tropicals today. As the temperatures are slowly increasing this spring, it's a great time to get your tropical plants acclimated outside. Most of your tropical plants really enjoy bright sunlight, so typically six or more hours of sun during the day, and boy, they'll give you color all season long, especially when you feed them. They do like to be fed with Osmocote or a miracle Grow fertilizer, or you can use Plant Tone or Holly Tone as well. Now, with these tropicals, you want to move them slowly out into the garden, get them acclimated. So we typically start at the north side of the house where it's going to be more shady um, and start them out there for maybe three, four days, get them acclimated to the temperatures, the sunlight, and then slowly move to the eastern side of the house, western and southern if they eventually get there. And they will really do well this season. We've got some beautiful varieties of tropicals at Petites that you want to check out. Um, so we've got all of these that I'm going to show you here today. We've got the Duranta, which comes in white and purple. We have a beautiful African mallow. Don't forget about your citrus plants, your um, limes, oranges, lemons. The gardenias and also jasmine are wonderfully fragrant. Hibiscus, lots of different heights, shapes, sizes, and also colors. The bougainvillea is a beautiful vining plant that can grow in hanging baskets or on a trellis. We've got plumbago here. This is a tropical plumbago. And then also Exora, this bright orange, if you like oranges. And then one of our favorites is the Mandevilla and Diplodenia family. These guys are great climbers. They're also, they'll get nice and bushy and they look great in containers as well. So enjoy.